Mike's who made that 10. 20 major trophies. He Mike's who made that 21. And of course, for a good few years, it was number two to Graham Sunes, who has spoken so highly of him this week. Walter Smith is about to take his leave of Ibrox, but he will want to leave something to remember him by. Simply the best. Yeah, I'd like to pass on my own admiration for Walter Smith. Any time I've spoken to him, he's always shown me a great deal of courtesy. And my goodness, you can't get much better than the success that he's enjoyed at one point. Thanks for the memories, Walter. There have been many of them. That is the message from Rangers Football Club to one of its greats. A manager and a gentleman. They're singing in the rain at Ibrox. There's 50,000 fans. A tribute to the departing manager. in the programme tonight from people like Sir Alex Ferguson, Graham Souness. They know exactly the type of influence that he's had on them, the help that he's given them for all the success that they've had. And it's nice to see him get a level of appreciation from the Rangers supporters. I don't think there have been many who've left the stadium. He was actually born a mile from Celtic's ground in the east end of Glasgow, but he grew up supporting Rangers as a boy and then as a man, and he lived the dream. He got to manage the team of his dreams. I think he's quite a humble person. <laughs> he might even find this a tad embarrassing as he takes the acclaim of the Rangers faithful. The end of an era. A trophy-laden first spell as manager when he had some great players at his disposal. The second spell was always going to be a bit trickier without the finances that were there first time around. But still, the trophies came. And now Rangers find themselves on the brink of three in a row. And that is a considerable achievement. Oh, and there's been a few cups along the way as well in his second spell, including, of course, the League Cup this season. You just have to admire his will to win over such a long period. And one of the abiding images of Walter Smith, one of the most powerful images that you'll see it's him and Ali McCoy's carrying the coffin of their great friend Tommy Burns. Former Celtic player, former Celtic manager. And a marvellous level of respect between the two. And friendship. Next into the hot seat, and it is one of football's hottest hot seats. The legend that is Ali McCoy. He's had a pretty good teacher. Smith takes a bow at Ibrox. Got the opportunity to come back and he just couldn't resist it. His club, his people. If he gets a good offer from somewhere, he might yet be back as a manager. But it won't be here.
personal farewell to Ibrox for Walter Smith. Let's hear from the man himself. He's with Peter Martin. Walter, how are you feeling? I'm not doing one here. I'm doing one when I'm on there. Well, he's not quite ready yet. That's it. The last walk down that tunnel. Into his theatre of dreams. It's a happy 41st birthday for Davy Weir. It's absolutely chucking it down at Ibrox, but they don't care because they think they're on the brink of yet another title. It has finished here in Rangers' final home match of the season. In Walter Smith's final match at Ibrox, Rangers 2, Dundee United 0.